Well, we're just, we're actually pretty shocked. Our minds are blown right now to see the amount of support from the community and from the fans and from the other artists. And uh, I mean, we just wanted to do something to honor uh, Mike and to, you know, kind of express our sadness and our feelings of loss and, and just to bring people together and really show how much we really loved him and how iconic he really he really is, really was. How difficult will it be to play without him today? This will be the first time, I suppose. Um, we're not really sure yet, but it's probably going to be really hard. Even just, you know, kind of practicing earlier was uh, tough because we've, we've never done that before without him. So it's going to be a tough one and uh, hopefully we can get through it. How is a memorial concert like this going to help with the grieving process? It's going to help a lot, you know, we, we to, to have the amount of love and support we've had come over us in the last while from fans, from co-workers, from just people who knew Mike on a personal level, it's been incredible. Human kindness has been just just the, the, the hit of that, to, to realize how much kindness and love and support there is out there has made it certainly easier for us and we appreciate it so much. How have you managed to cope? I mean, obviously you must still be in a state of shock over something that happened so suddenly. Like, What have you been doing to cope over the last two weeks? Um, yes. Yeah, this. I think setting this up really took our minds off uh, everything and kind of gave us a purpose. And um, but yeah, I mean, you know, time heals wounds, and we're working towards that. And what happens with the band now? You move on a world tour. Yeah, we've decided to carry on uh, the world tour and uh, kind of honor Mike and bring the spirit of this event on the road with us to our fans around the world that you know, couldn't be here today. And. Um, yeah, we're going to be working on that over the next couple of weeks just to how figure out how to do that. How are you guys going to remember him? What was he like as a bandmate, as a person? He was a very, very funny individual. A lot of people didn't get to experience that when he was in the Beard Guy character because he didn't talk much, but uh, he definitely talked a lot on the bus and he had a joke for everything. Very witty, very witty guy. And how do you very feel about kind. And very kind. He's a very kind man. And a family man. Family yes. Man, all the way, yeah. You've got some all-star lineup here today. How does that make you feel that all these people are coming out to play with you? Yeah, it feels really good. Um, there's a certain com camaraderie within the music industry and within certain artists and a lot of the people we've collaborated with in the past are here today and a lot of people that we didn't even know would be available are here today and it just shows um, just how much support and love there is that surrounds uh, Canadian music and, and us within the community and it's, it's really special and we're really appreciate, appreciative of the artists that were able to you know, black out their schedules and be here for, for him today. I see candles all around the keyboards. Talk to me about that a bit. Um, I like to do a lot of the stage design and I just thought it would look really nice to have something really special. We set up his keyboards so he could be here in some way today, um, and it, I just we just thought it would be nice to have to have those there. For now. Will someone else play the keyboards today, or no, uh, not not his. those ones. No. How is his family coping? Um, they're doing what they need to do when they lose a family member. It's hard. Are they here and today? They're being together, and yeah, some of them will be here today. Nice. Most definitely. They were also fans of his music. He played music for his family and been playing piano for many years. At this time last year, guys, weren't you performing at a at an NFL playoff game? Yes. So yeah. how does it feel like in the span of one year that this so much can happen and it just puts into perspective life and time? Not not just one year, just one day. Yeah. It's really, it's anything can change at any moment so it's a it's a it's a cliche you know to to some to, to say live every moment live every moment like it's your last but it's certainly a different experience when when you get hit in the face with something like this and and i think we've all had it taken a moment to really slow down and think about what means most to us think about family think about what we've done and what legacy we're going to leave because you know mike the one bit of comfort that, I, that I've, I've certainly found in this is that he lived life to the absolute max. He really did live life like every day was his last, and he left an incredible legacy, and we're here to celebrate that today. How does playing music and actually performing help the healing process for you guys? We're not really sure yet. Um, this is the first time we've performed since, since he passed, and um, I mean, music heals, and we know that for many different situations, and um, we're hoping that eventually over time it'll help us keep his memory alive and you know bring him with us on the road and bring him with us in all the music that we continue to make.